Hey everybody, it's Allie Edwards and I am here today with a layout idea using our TAG scrapbook kit. Uh, we do a quarterly scrapbook kit each year and the last quarterly kit of 2022 was the theme of TAGs and it came out in I, th I think November or December and for me it's just such a busy December daily time that I didn't have a chance to play around with this kit so I'm wanting to incorporate some of the pieces of this kit in my documenting for 2023. So I've pulled out one of the papers here. This kit has a bunch of these directed storytelling pages where the prompts are already right on top of there which makes it super easy to create a page around that. Uh, there's also 12 by 12 papers that you can cut up if you're wanting to do smaller sizes. Just a really fun kit and a fun set of products to support your storytelling. So what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to use this paper and I printed out a very large photo here. This is sized 14 inches wide by 8.25 inches tall and when I'm trimming these down I usually just cut around here before I trim it on my um, on my trimmer, on my actual trimmer. This paper is 13 by 19 photo paper. It prints on my Epson XP 15,000 printer, which I really like. It's been a great printer for me. And again, this is 14 inches wide by eight and a quarter inches tall, and I'm gonna cut it right down the middle. And this is going to become the foundation for these tags that I'm gonna cut out. And I think I'm probably gonna use just four of the tags on here, two on this side and two on this side, to document a few little details. I think probably specifically about this photo. I love, love, love having full page photo foundations, uh, whether it's one page or two page. So this will be a two page spread. The holes will go right in the middle here. And then I'll be able to tell my story right on top. So step one obviously is just getting this photo trimmed out. I do my photo editing in Photoshop uh, most of the time. That's where I set it up and then I print from there. I'm just gonna go right along the lines here and then I'm going to cut it at eight or seven inches. So right down the middle should be seven inches on here. I love having full page photo foundations because it's such a great use of our photos, right? Instead of, um, you know, having powder paper, or those sorts of things. It's, it's really, really kind of a nice opportunity to have it, uh, have it be something real from your life, right? Patterns are great. I love patterns. I got lots of pattern papers around here. Um, but it's also really nice to have the photos as the foundation for your storytelling. Now, I think I am going to just go right down the middle here. I was thinking I might wait, but I think that it should be just fine. We're just going to go for it. So now we have two pages that are close enough in terms of their width. Now this will make it a little bit easier to trim from the top. papers is obviously you can just pair them right with a single photo like this. You could do a collage of photos, you could do a bunch of embellishments with photos, a, a grid of photos, you know, all the same things there. And then you have this paper that's already ready to go. So you can do it that way or you can do like what I'm going to do on this one where I'm actually going to cut it all out, trim these out, and then use the tags on my actual page.
Okay, so yes, I am probably not going to use the five and the six. There's a couple things that you can do with these. If you're not using the five and the six, you can keep them and you could put an embellishment right over the top, right? Maybe a chipboard piece. You could have a photo on top of here. There's lots of other things that you could do with this if you want to keep this in with your stash of stuff. Okay, you know how sometimes you have something that you can't stop using? That's what these washi tapes are for me. I love them so much. They're from Doodlebug. They have them on scrapbook.com. They just have been making me ridiculously happy uh, in the last few projects that I have used them on. I think they're going to be super cute on the bottom of these tags. So in terms of journaling, there's a couple different ways that you could approach telling a story of a photo like this. You could literally look at individual pieces in the photo and tell different stories. So pick out four things. I could have said, you know, something about Aaron and something about Betty and something about Sam and something about me. That would have been one way to approach it. Or I could have picked inanimate objects from the photo. There's a box, there's a Star Wars box, there's the new cushion, there's a plant that I really love, right? Like that's one way to approach journaling on tags like this. What I chose to do though is tell a story just about the cushions that's continued from one tag to the next. So it says a brand new window seat cushion has arrived and has now created a whole new space to relax. That was on number one. Number two says Betty and Sam are the two who are never far from us in the house. They love a good hangout like this. Three says this is us right now as we move into 2023, staying connected and enjoying together. And then four says I can't wait to experience more seasons in this very spot and watch the yard bloom. So that was my approach to the journaling. No right or wrong, just options. One thing I want to say as I'm working on this too is I'm definitely noticing as I'm up close, this is a photo that Simon took of Aaron and I, and I think that his camera is like the, he needs to clean off his camera lens. And so it's definitely like blurry and kind of foggy in a way, but I don't care. And the reason why I don't care is because what I want or what I'm most excited about here is simply the photo of the two of us, right? In our own little space, in our own environment, uh, enjoying each other and whether or not it's a perfect photograph is not as important to me. All right, next up here, I played around a little bit with thinking, you know, how do I want to lay these out? I had a little bit of a tricky issue with my face is closer to the middle than Aaron's face is, so I had a little bit less space with the tags. But I was kind of curious about using a chipboard piece there. That is from the open story kit. And what I decided to do was dive into my stash and see did I have any more chipboard pieces that were the same as that long label piece. And I did. So I pulled those out and kind of considered using one of those, which completely would have worked and looks really cute on there. Um, so the idea of basically creating a it's not a mirror image, but you're having the same sort of embellishments on one side as you are on the other side to create balance uh, as well as repetition. So I decided against the chipboard piece, but what I found on my desk are a couple vellum strips that were offered as part of a vellum bundle with the open story kit. I think it's still in there available as an add-on. So those of you who are subscribers could add it next month if you missed out on it or you forgot to add it this month. Uh, they're super cute vellum. The first one has 2023 on the top on the green one. The other one says, trust the timing of your life. I am gonna switch those around um, and put a different one on the bottom. The other thing that I'm using right now, I'm using a gold circle brad. I found these at Walmart and then I will be adhering them down using the foam adhesive, which I think you already saw me put on the back uh, earlier in the process. So foam, foam adhesive squares to actually adhere everything down. But those vellum strips, what I decided to do is I'm gonna use a paper piercer, which will go through the photo with a small silver mini brad. That's what you're gonna see is gonna hold uh, those ones in place. 
So sometimes brads are functional, meaning that one's actually going through the whole thing. It's going to keep it right in that spot that I want it to be. And other times they're more decorative, which is what I did on those other tags. The last thing I'm gonna be doing here is adding on my rolling date stamp. This is gonna be the day that I recorded this story. And that's a page. There you go. Hope to see you guys back here again soon.